I wanted to give an update where we are with the uh, mini quad build. So it's actually turned out to be a little bit bigger in profile than I had originally intended. So I'll be working in the future to kind of scale that down. But uh, next up on the list, I was able to print the top plate, which sits here and it's pretty much identical to the bottom plate. And it has a little bit of a cutout that I used to super glue to each one of these arm or boom mounts. One thing that I did fail to overlook is if you see the ESC leads are coming through the top and mounting this multi we uh, could be a challenge. I might put some, definitely going to use some moon gel, but might need to print some standoffs just to keep that uh, isolated from the top plate. The wiring looks a lot like spaghetti right now, but uh, what I want to do is just get this thing in the air and then fine tune and make everything look dialed in and pretty. So next up on the list will be to configure this multi we and get it ready. But I wanted to just take a couple minutes and talk to you about these motors. Because I, right now I have question, a question in my mind whether or not they're going to have enough uh, power and thrust to get this build in the air. My original intent was to use this uh, 800 milliamp 2S LiPo. So that's still the plan. Um, but what I do have as a backup is I do have this 3S uh, 850 milliamp battery that we'll, we'll try as well. Okay, so aside from power and the concerns with the size of this motor, we also have the problem of just finding bolts small enough uh, to mount to these 3D printed motor mounts. So what I've done is I've actually used some just hanging wire and kind of threaded that through and just tighten it up. So it, it's, it's secure, very secure, but not something that you would want to uh, use in the, in the long run. Okay, so the mounting of the motor was a huge pain. And the other, I, I think, bigger pain is just working with uh, the wires, the, the three leads coming off of the motor that go to your ESC. Now you can tell that I've uh, solder these directly to the ESCs and use the liquid electrical tape uh, to keep everything insulated. Okay, regarding wiring, I've received quite a few really good suggestions to, the, this was the connector that was hooked up to uh, the motor leads. And so it was kind of soldered on with the three pins coming out and the suggestion was, hey Dennis, why don't you just use a servo lead, solder a servo lead to your uh, ESCs and, and plug that in. Well the problem is this connection is not your standard header pin size. I think it's a mini header pin but you can tell that actually you see that pin got pushed back that these do not fit directly into the servo lead. Just to give you guys some perspective these leads are like I, do, I have no clue what gauge they are but they're almost they're thinner than a strand of hair and I'll show you through my little helping hand soldering tool, these got, there's the three leads. And they're super tiny, so you can imagine how difficult those were to work with and given how short um, that lead, these leads are coming off this motor, working with them and trying to solder them to an ESC was a huge pain to say the least. I'm definitely gonna give these a try because they're mounted and pretty much just need to be configured and powered. And one of my goals for the build was to use parts that are you know easy to work with and so that's definitely not the case with this guy this is the 2300 kV i power motor and let me just show you in perspective uh, how this motor matches up to some of the previous ones I've used so on the right is our current build motor 2300 kV i power this is the Turnigy a 1300 kV motor it's one that I used uh, on one of my first uh, builds with the uh, KK1 board. This is a great little motor, had a, uh, quite a bit of power for its size. And then this is a, I, another iPower, 950 kV motor, which is what I'm currently flying with uh, on my TBS Discovery. Great, great motor. And so you'll notice, as you guys are probably well aware of these leads, bullet connectors came with uh, this motor. 
these did not, but it was easy to solder and work with standard wire. And once again, these little guys that just nearly impossible to work with unless you have the proper connector uh, on the receiving end. So my apologies for going on and on about this motor, but I'm really leaning towards uh, replacing it with maybe something a little bit bigger and uh, definitely easier to work with. But like I said, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to get this guy in the air and I truly appreciate you guys following along with this build and all the great suggestions that you've given. So please continue to do so if you have motor suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And in the next, next update, hopefully we'll be able to take it for a test flight. Thanks for watching.